How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be working on the latches and the locks for the barn doors. If you've been following along on my channel, uh, you know I built the two big barn doors so we can get the box trailer camper in here. We needed something pretty big. We didn't have the headroom for a traditional uh, garage door. So we built the doors and so far everything has worked out really well. But now the hard thing about barn doors is you, know, you got to get them locked. Uh, so we're going to be building some latches for this door here. One's going to go in the ceiling and one's going to go into the concrete. And then we're going to build another latch for this door that's going to walk to this door. So uh, it's all in my head, no blueprint. We're just going to do it. I think we'll be okay. Uh, we'll just take our time and just keep getting it. We'll do it until we get it right. So. Uh, Here's some of the tools we're going to be using. Got my little belt sander. This is just kind of a makeshift a workshop until we get this thing locked up to where we can lock it up. Then we got our new Harbor Freight chop saw. We have our new DeWalt. Now this one has the grinding wheel on it. That one has a cutting wheel on it. That's a Craftsman. And then we got our Hobart welder. So these are the tools we're going to be using. We're going to need a drill too. Uh, the only thing I have here is cordless drills. My drill presses are in the other garage, but as soon as we get these doors locked, I think we can start bringing some tools over. So uh, that is our makeshift workshop for right now. So let's get started on this project. Okay, the first thing I want to do, to I want to position the uh, locks to where I have my most strength. So up at the top, I have a bolt up there. So I want to get my lock as close to that bolt where it bolts into the ceiling, right there. I want to get it as close to that as I can. So I want that bolt, when I put my lock up, I want it to go right up into that wood up underneath there and behind the metal track. So it's not only the tracks holding it, but it's going to go right up inside the wood too. So I'm going to cut a piece of uh, metal here We'll go about 46 inches long. And I'm gonna be using bed rails to build most of this track. Uh, we had some old bed rails. I figured that'd be great to make these locks out of. So let's get to cutting this a piece 46 inches long. So we have our 46 inch piece of angle. Now you don't have to cut yours 46 inches long. I'm only doing this so it will connect to those angle irons going up that door. Now if you had a piece of wood, you know, say you had a wooden barn door, you could make these a lot shorter. Uh, you only need a few inches on one of these. And I'll show you a picture of the one that I built for my barn down at the other property. This is only 46 inches long because I need it for the, uh, like I said, the, the angle going up there. Now you only want to cut a couple pieces of small angle iron, just a couple small pieces, and these are going to be welded inside of here. And this is going to be a guide to keep your rod going up and down right. But we're going to have to drill a couple holes through these. So we're going to get two of these cut. I got one cut. We're going to get another one cut. And then we're going to drill a hole through them. And then we're going to get them welded into place. Now, 
Now I rounded that edge off because when you stick it in that angle iron, it's rounded. Now when you get regular angle iron, it's not rounded like that, but this one here is. So I just rounded off the edge. So you're going to place your uh, little pieces of angle in here. I'm not going to go too far down from the top. A little bit because we have to pull it out of wherever we're going. And then the bottom one, I'm going to face it this way. The angle in the, towards both flat spots are in the center. So now for the pin that we're going to use to go through this, I'm going to be using an old roof bolt. This is an old mine roof bolt. I use a lot of these on a lot of projects because I have them. And these are pretty strong. So we're going to go ahead and cut the head off of it and get the length that we want. All right, we're gonna round the edge of this really good because our hands are gonna be on it. So we wanna round this really good. I don't think we'll hurt our hands on that right there. That's pretty good. We have this guy nice and rounded off. So now we're gonna to need to I don't know, maybe five inches of this, about where our hand will go. We'll mark it here, so I know that'll fit my hand. I'm going to heat this up and bend it in a 90 degree angle. Now, I don't have my torches here, but I did find some matte gas. And I think this matte gas will take a little bit of gas to get it to bend, but I think I can do it. We got us a really nice 90 degree angle on this. Now we're going to try to get the length that we're going to need to be able to go up into the uh, ceiling, that board, and behind that piece of angle. So I'm going to measure that. We're going to get this piece cut off. Then we're going to start drilling our holes, and we want this to slide through the holes that we put in there. So we'll get to that here in a minute. We're just going to get our length and get this thing cut off. Okay, I marked both of our little pieces of angle we cut. Now, I don't want these directly in the center. I want them more towards the top of that center. So we're going to drill them right here in this corner, about right there. Now, I don't have no drill press or nothing to do this with now, just some hand tools. But we'll get it done. And they don't have to be perfect. We're going to keep stepping it up with our drill bits until we get it uh, big enough for that piece of roof bolt to go through. Guys are wondering what was going on with my finger. I cut it from there all the way down and across. I was trying to keep the dirt out of it. 
Okay, we got one hole drilled here. And we'll do the same thing with the other one, and that's going to allow that to slide up and down through there nice and freely. No issues. Not too tight, not too loose. So we got to get our other one drilled out now. All right, now I'm just going to clean up the two spots where I want to weld these in. go ahead and grind some of the sharp edges off of this because we don't want anybody getting uh, cut on any sharp edges. few more little things I need to do to this before I can actually uh, weld it to the door. We're going to need a washer, a good washer that will fit over top of this beam. And uh, this is what I got, just an old washer. And we're going to slide it right over the beam. It's got to be able to fit over this right here. But what we want to do is we want to slide this thing out. Enough to get it over top of this and we're going to slide it all the way down to this next piece of angle we put on. right there we're going to measure out we needed four and an eighth inches sticking out the top up here I needed four and an eighth inches so I'll measure this out that's where I need it. So this needs to be flush with the angle up on the top. So this is our four inch bolt that's going to go behind the angle iron and up into the wood. So now we got our washer on here. We're going to weld that washer but we're not going to weld that washer yet because I need to weld a small piece onto this so the door will lock. You gotta have a way to hold this thing up. So we're gonna get another piece of this roof bolt. thing is together and it's not coming apart now. Alright, the next thing I gotta do is I got to uh, notch these two slots out, this one and this one, for that pin to go over and to walk into. 
and I'll be using the, the small cutoff wheel and we'll use a four inch grinder with a cutoff wheel and we'll notch that the best that we can. We want that to slide over there but kind of be able to hang down in there. So we'll do them in just a little bit of an angle. Now to be honest with you, you probably wouldn't even need that second slot, but you definitely need the first one. So our lock is ready to mount to the door itself. Okay, we got our lock positioned where we need it. So we're going to go ahead and weld it to that track, that track, and this track here, the angle iron. And uh, then we'll get to drilling our hole up at the top that's actually going to lock it closed. Okay, now that we got this all welded into place, what I did was I pulled in on my door and I slammed this thing up into the ceiling and it made a mark up on the ceiling up there where I'm going to have to drill my hole. <clears throat> now I'm going to go ahead and unclamp this door because I had it clamped shut and we're going to drill that hole. I'm just going to use a paddle bit.
door is good and secure. So it's behind the angle iron, plus it's up into the wood. I think they're going to play... Heck. Heck. <laughs> hard time getting this out. H-E double hockey sticks. <laughs> yeah. They're going to have a hard time getting that out. That's pretty sturdy right there. So now we're going to go ahead and build the same lock on the bottom. I'll show you what this one looks like. And uh, I think if you follow this same idea, just make them shorter or longer if you have to. Uh, I think you can make a, a good barn door lock like this. One in the top, one in the bottom, one on your other door. But the one on the other door, we'll get that on video. But I'll do the bottom one. I don't think you guys need to see it. It's the same one. So you can see how the handle is, you know. If you wanted to lock it in, you could. You don't really need that bottom one. As long as it's down, it's unlocked. When you push it in, then you lock it into that top one, which makes sense. And you can see up there where I drilled it and put it right into the ceiling, into that wood. Now, if you wanted to make one better than that, you probably could get a metal piece of pipe that that would fit in, drill it, stick it inside of a piece of pipe and glue that thing up in there, be even tighter. But I think that one turned out really well. All right, we're gonna get started on the handle, the one that's gonna twist and lock, uh, because the other door, you're gonna have to go outside and then shut it and lock it against the other door. So, I got a piece of the roof bolt here. We're gonna heat this up and bend this in a 90 degree angle. This is gonna kinda of be our handle. Try to keep that washer as, as square as you can to that piece of uh, roof bolt. So we're going to go ahead and weld this around here. Okay, so here is we welded the washer on that. Now that's going to slide through the door like so. And then I cut another piece of angle, and I'll show you where this one's going to go. We're going to hold our our handle in there nice and tight because it's pretty flush now and we're going to slide this one on like so and we're going to weld that right there right into place right there and that's going to give us a handle that we can twist so this thing's going to lock on the inside so I'm going to get this guy welded into place. All right, I'm working on this piece right here, and this is going to be so our padlock goes through it to lock um, the door handle. We're going to use this. Uh, I just tacked these together, rounded them off. I might do a little bit more rounding to them before I grind off the tack weld. I got them a little crooked, but yeah, they'll be fine. So we're going to get these cleaned up and mounted on the door and then we'll figure out the piece that will go to the handle. Alright, here is our latch on the outside. Of course it all needs painted now. But what happens is it'll go up like that and this latch here, as you can see, will go behind the other door. And with that door hooked into the concrete and hooked into the wood rafters, that's going to lock this. Now this is a good inch and a half on the other side of that angle in there. 
Then you'll be able to put your lock right up inside here. Now, you don't really have any room to cut that lock off. It's hard, you would have a hard time. But you know, this is just to keep an honest man honest. It's not gonna keep out, you know, crook. But wait till they find out what I put on the inside. We're gonna be putting solar on it and an alarm system in it, 12 volt. Oh yeah. So that's my latch. And that's how it hooked up. Now it's bolted on the inside, but what I did is I welded the nuts right to the bolt. So we will be putting a handle in here too. That way we can uh, close it after we get in. We can close it from the inside or the outside. But as of now, that's good enough. That'll get us locked up nice and tight. Quarter inch plate here, roof bolt going through there. I think that's gonna work out pretty good. I feel pretty secure with that. So I would like to tell everybody thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Till next time.